There are several ways to sell your house fast. What's the fastest? Sell to an investor or iBuyer. You might already know about investors. Before you even thought about selling, someone's asking to buy your house. Maybe you've been getting a postcard, a letter on yellow legal pad paper, or you've been getting tons of phone calls, all saying the same thing. We will buy your house cash, as is, and close fast. And investors will do just that. They'll pay cash for your house, and because they pay cash, they can also close fast, faster than someone buying with a loan. They'll buy your house completely as is, you don't have to make any repairs. Because you're selling it direct to the buyer, you won't have any realtor costs, and some investors will even pay your closing costs. Selling to an investor should be much faster and simpler than listing it with a realtor and putting your house on the open market. The catch is, most investors are fixed and flippers and will not offer you market value, but instead offer you about 70% of after repaired value of your house. After repaired value, or ARV, is an estimate of the market value of your house if it was in top of the line condition. Like all repairs are taken care of, it's updated and moving ready. That percentage, 70% in my example, will vary with each investor. Some may go lower and some may go higher. Fix and flip investors need to buy houses cheap enough so they can profit after putting in money to renovate the house, pay all the overhead throughout renovation, and reselling costs, whether it be through their own marketing or hiring a realtor to resell it. Investors will never pay market value. They can't. One other catch has to do with investors buying your house as is and repairs. While fix and flip investors won't ask you to repair anything and will buy your house as is, they will ask for credit for repairs, if repairs are needed. They'll come over to inspect the house, estimate what repairs will cost, and deduct those estimates from the 70% of ARV or whatever percentage they use. The saying among investors is you make money when you buy, not when you sell. Houses have to be bought at a low enough price so they can profit after all the money they will put into it. The cheaper they can buy the house, the more they will profit. iBuyers are just like regular investors, but there are several differences. iBuyers will give you an offer without even coming over to your house. iBuyers will use public data to calculate their offer price and email it to you in a day or so. If you accept their offer, iBuyers will then come over to inspect the house and if repairs are needed, will deduct the cost of those repairs from their initial offer price. Another difference between iBuyers and regular investors is that some iBuyers will pay closer to market value for your house. The majority of iBuyers are fix and flippers, but some buy houses to hold as rentals, so they want houses in good shape or need very little work. If your house is in top of the line condition, this type of iBuyer may be interested in your house. Then there are iBuyers who buy houses as a service to sellers. This type of iBuyer is not an investor, but more of a service provider. Like an investor, they will close quickly and buy your house as is, but instead of paying 70% of ARV minus repairs, they'll pay market value for your house, or so they say. They will then turn around and resell the house for slightly more than what they paid. Their model is not to profit from flipping a house, but from charging the seller a fee for the convenience of a quick market value sale. Some may also rely on appreciation to profit from rising house values. This brings us to the last difference between iBuyers and regular investors. iBuyers charge a convenience or a service fee. These fees can be 2.5% or 5% or even more. It could rival realtor fees. So in some cases, it's possible that an iBuyer may offer you more than a regular investor. However, you may end up netting the same amount or less after fees. But if you want to sell your house fast, sell it to an investor or iBuyer. This is Dale Shin. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell. Stay tuned for the next video.